All right, Kobe Allison out of uh, Lima, Ohio, driver of the 24 3G Custom Schaefer Racing Oil, Kissler Performance. So I've been racing since I was about four years old. Started in goat carts. My dad used to race back in the day. Pretty much raced his whole life. Got my uncle racing. He uh, brought me up through the ranks. We started out in goat carts, worked our way up to mini sprints, raced some midget races. And uh, we, got, we got going pretty good. Won a track championship, won a rookie of the year. Won 20 races our first year out in the mini sprint and then kind of decided if we're gonna do anything, uh, we gotta play with the big boys now. Uh, really just the love for it, you know, since my dad got me started, you know, you have a love-hate relationship with it. Some days you wonder why you do it, and then the other days, you know, you love to do it. I guess we all do it to win, but winning isn't easy, and it takes a lot of hard work. And uh, we're still trying to fight off that first win in the 360s, and we're getting closer. We're just not there yet, and I won't stop till we get it. So we got to do whatever we can to get there, and we're going to make it happen. Definitely was my first night in the mini sprint, you know. We went out in the wing car and won it. Uh, Chase Dunham led the whole race and there were 12 to go. He spun out and uh, gave us the lead. And we had a restart and we had uh, Rod Henning behind us and he was the best at the time. So be able to hold him off in my first night in the car was definitely, definitely pretty badass. Uh, worst night is, uh, we have a lot of those, but we got about three or four of them where we put it in the wall. Um, some drivers there, mostly drivers there. It's how you learn, you know, car. First one was at Plymouth Speedway. Just rail on the cushion, and the cushion didn't like me back, and it bit me and threw me into the wall and broke off the whole front clip of the car. I had another one at Mount Pillar Speedway, got pinched up into the front stretch wall and went tumbling from there. Had one at Eldora Speedway. Have had one here at Limeland. You know, I guess when you're racing, it's gonna happen, you know, it's part of it. They make new parts every day, that's the way I look at it. Uh, trying to think what's actually appropriate to say. Yeah, you know, uh, a funny story, I raced for Ty Tilton and the mini sprint and the midgets. We're, we're going down to the Gator Dirt Nationals, which is in Georgia. So we're packing everything up, you know. We get all the way to Georgia and we're looking in the trailer and Ty's suitcase is nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. And when I'm not lying, Ty is a buckle freak. All buckle clothes, all Nike shoes, all the, all the expensive stuff. Well, his crew guy forgot to shut the door on the trailer on the way to Georgia and needless to say, his suit back, suitcase was sitting in the side of a ditch somewhere. So it made somebody have a good day. There's a couple more, but probably not appropriate to say, so we won't do that. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody on this car. You know, we got FK Rod Engine, HRP Wings, 3G Customs, DNM Fencing, Schaefer Racing Oil, Kistler Performance, Walter Sons and Meads, Stanch Logistics, Global Warehousing, Ohio Cycle Works, uh, Seamless Gutters, Ty Tilt and Truck Repair. Everybody that's brought me here to this point, you know, it was a dream of mine from working on my uncles to be able to sit behind one of these and we made it come true. And I can't thank everybody enough. Astro Lane puts this deal together. My dad, my mom, his friend Josh. Wouldn't it be possible without any of them, so I appreciate it.